Canal Street. Yeah. It was euphoric. Yeah, it really was. The, that weekend, it really was euphoric. Right, okay. Don't take the piss. <laughs> I'm not. It's just too cute. Thanks. <laughs> but it was euphoric. Like, it really was. So, it was a month before I met you, uh, it was the first time I'd ever gone out in a skirt. Oh, you went out in a skirt? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And kind of like a, oh, like a black, black and white play thing. Very the crap. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and everyone was getting down and dirty to Rihanna or whatever, and I was like, really, really, really nervous. Nervous to go out in Manchester with them all. I wasn't sure if I fit in with them really. Right. Yeah, or well, I would fit in with, with Manchester, I guess. But before I went, Connor was like, oh, just go for yourself, baby. Don't, don't worry about your friends fitting in, but just oh, go for yourself. Like in a high camp Welsh conjunction. Well, exactly. <laughs> <don't laughs> <you? laughs> <laughs> 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 you know, so I, I did. Well, I went for myself. I forgot about all the friends fitting in, but I did it for myself. And they were all getting wrecked, dancing, having a blast. And, and so was I, but I wasn't with them. I was like somewhere else having a totally different experience. Or it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I just stepped out onto the cobbles and there was this such this joy. And I just fucking cried in a fucking skirt with my eyeliner and my pink hair. Do you remember my pink hair? <laughs> and I cried on the cobbles, this euphoric, overwhelming moment on the fucking cobbles like Deirdre fucking Barlow and this beautiful, beautiful guy came up to me and asked me if I was okay and I was like, yeah, I'm great, I'm a kiss. And it was like the best kiss that I've oh, ever had. Was oh, well, no, the, the best that I've had until then, obviously. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, uh, yes, what I mean is that like, it was different, it was different. <laughs> because he was trans. on the guy. That's like asking you if you find all gay guys attractive. The trans guy right, is just like that. But I'm just curious to know, like, what, it's great that you kissed this guy, it was amazing, like, I think, I think you, but what if you wanted to, um, to, um, to, um, to, um but, but I'm just thinking, he's like, he's just a beautiful man. Did he have a dick? Does that matter? Cringy. Right, I see. 
And I used to think it was because I was like 17, 17, 18, so I wasn't a man. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. N not yet, but to this kid who wanted this like grown up experience of shopping, paying for a sofa or whatever, I was the man, the man who worked in the shop. Like, I was a man. Even though I never felt like a man, to this child, I was the man who sold them the soap. Yeah. But I wasn't a man. So it always felt. Felt. wrong? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah? Yeah. You're a baby. No, that wasn't. Well, yeah, I, I was, but now I realise it's because it. wasn't true? Right, exactly. Right. But it is, though, kind of. No, it, it, it isn't. But you said. <clears throat> you said uh, to me, you don't necessarily. Not necessarily, no. So that means that sometimes you feel like you are a man, right? Well, it still feels wrong to, like, even now when I'm in town and there's a toddler in my way, super drug, and I'm power walking. Power to sing. Fuck off. I'm power walking <laughs> to the till, and the mum sees me and she wants the toddler to get out of the way, and she goes, Oh, watch out for the man. It's weird. I'm still the man. To this toddler, to the toddler's mother, I'm the man. No, you're not listening. Yes, I am. I am. And to them, to them, you are. But I'm not a man. Babe, you're always, you're always going to. How would you say, uh, present? Present, yes, present like a man. You just, I'm not saying this right, but, but that, that is how the world sees you. You can't get pissed off when people like other normal <laughs> strangers call you man or, or sir or whatever because, I'm sorry, you look like, you look like a boy. You do, babe. But what does that mean? Just, just a guy, a guy, I don't know. Whatever we've been told to think a guy is, looks like. I, I'm not saying this right. We all assume, but, the, but we, just, we just do. Because that's how you... Uh, I, just, I just think that's what you are. I, I just wish that they didn't. I know. I'm sorry, babe, I know. It's, it's not your but... But I, I do think some people are more attuned to... Some people have realised. What do you mean? I, I don't think I was the first to... To know? Recognise. Right. Yeah. You, you remember when I told you about in school my music exam? Um, of singing. Mm, yeah. Should have sung a boy's song. In red ink, like teachers congealed blood. But my music teacher was like a proper ally and she fought it. She fought that external examiner, whatever. And she was actually the one who'd encouraged me to sing that song. To sing Somewhere That's Green. Because when we did Little Shop and I was like, yeah, nine, yeah, ten, whatever, we had this whole conversation about how she thinks Audrey would be great played by the boy. That I would have been. And I think that maybe she saw in me that I was. wasn't. Have you seen what I mean, don't you? Well, well, no, okay, okay. It's, uh, I get it. She recognised something in you by saying that. You know, by seeing something and seeing how you didn't fit. But also, I, um, also, I, I never fit in your voice. Oh, no, this isn't. No, no, listen, no. like, like, on the fucking rug of your tour to fucking, fucking Vienna or whatever. <laughs> But it, it just, it just didn't, it doesn't mean that I couldn't be a boy, like I, like I am, I have a, you know, I have a, but how does it work? Does it work this way where I can just choose? Like, 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 like I can just choose, I can't just choose another way to be, can I? Can you? Oh my god. No, no, please, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, I'm just trying to... I'm just saying that making that choice so, 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 so abruptly, it's going to take some... Because it, it, because it doesn't just affect you, does it? Oh my fucking Babe, God. I'm not trying to be... I'm just, well, yes, I'm you just, are trying I'm just saying it's a good change for other people, not just you. That sounds like a them problem. <laughs> fucking hell. Donkey, please, please don't. That's so fucking selfish and ridiculous. Oh, ridiculous. ridiculous. No, wow. I, you're I not the only person in the world. That's being ridiculous. Jesus fucking... But you've Christ. always been... Okay. Yeah, here is what I can't get my head around, yeah. It's that you've always been. And now you've just... 
Or it seems you've just decided. No, it doesn't work like well, that. Well, then tell me, babe, tell me how it works, because I, I, from where I'm... From where I'm standing, I'm sweet, you're my boyfriend, and now you're... So it, it is. You, you have decided. Surely I'm not being narrow, small, close, narrow-minded or whatever, when I saw that you have decided, that you don't want to use... It isn't a decision. Did you decide to be gay? Was that a decision? A bit, actually, yeah. I think it was a bit of a decision. Yeah, I can't. Yes, because I decided I wanted to, to, to pursue it. Wow! No, 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 you're doing it right now. The thing that... We're... When I speak it, and it isn't, it isn't, it isn't fucking right for you. <laughs> it's just not the right thing to say. For you and all your friends. You all think that I have, I always say the wrong thing. But you know what, you know what matters? It's like you think, you, not just you, you and your friends, and the fucking, the whole fucking world, it seems like. You don't think my way of being gay is valid. Like I'm invalid. My way is in, I don't know, I'm not aware enough. Uh, how to be or what to say or how to feel without, I don't know, the correct thing to say without offending somebody. So then when I'm corrected and... and re but actually, to be honest, actually with your friends, it's pretty much totally unavoidable. Because everything, everything I say is fucking wrong or offensive to say. Everything. I can't say anything. Anything! Feel without there being some Instagram fucking self-help thing that tells me and you and your friends and the whole fucking world what I said is or could be perceived as like a whatever. But like, fuck that. No, fuck that. I'm a fucking good person. I'm not a bad person. And they're okay. I don't know what, what's, the, what's the word. The, 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 the phrase that the, 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 the present, present. The way I present to the world is not particularly queer or gay or whatever, but that doesn't mean I haven't had to deal with. And I know you, you and your friends and the whole fucking world think that I never had to, but I have had to. I haven't, I have not had a privileged fucking life. People do call me a fag. People do shout at me. Slurs whatever in the streets. On the fucking bus stop, the co-op. But I'm not with you. And yeah, I brush it off. I do ignore it. But it does, yeah, it maybe means that I'm scared to hold your hand and maybe that's part of why I'm not like you. Like your mates. But it doesn't mean that I'm not valid. The way I am. My way of it, 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 is, it is like you. Like you when you went to Manchester, you know, with, all, with, with your friends, those people. And they were just like getting down and doing it to Rihanna in a shitty club. And like, I don't know, is that a bad thing? Why is that not okay? Isn't it? Why can't we just. Why can't they just exist? Why does it always have to be this big fucking statement? Hey? Why does it always have to be this. And if I say the wrong thing sometimes, that doesn't mean, that doesn't always mean that I am. And yeah. Yeah, I do, I do think being gay is part of your choice. I probably, yeah, I could have done what my brothers did. Stayed at home, married a girl from high school, and you have a wife and all fucking kids thing. Like that, that, that life, I could have done it. And I probably would have enjoyed it. Like it would have been the easiest thing for me to do. It would have, but sometimes. I do think that. But... I don't think I would have been... Would I have been happy? Probably not. So I chose to be happy. I chose this. No. I chose this. I did. To a certain degree, I chose this. And you... I love you. And when you attack me... When you attack me... For saying that this is not the right way to be... That, it, that I say the wrong thing... Thinking... Because I see you, I do, I see you roll your eyes and I see, hear you uh, inside your head think that it's just fucking, this being some, some like this fucking stereotype, this fucking homophobia, inner you know, homophobia inside me or whatever. But like, actually, you don't really, surely, you don't, be honest, do you actually, genuinely, truly believe that? Obviously just an Instagram thing. 
Maybe it's because you saw it on Instagram and, and all your friends shared it and all the gay celebrities shared it. And now you feel you have had to share it because that now, that is the only way to think. Like you have to think that way because it makes you feel like you belong in that. Like the way of your thinking is superior. More. And if you don't think that way, that you're wrong and a bad queer and a bad person, because it doesn't always mean that. It's like, it feels like they're your friends, the world, they're like they're, I don't know, policing the way you are. We are supposed to think, hey, the right way to think, but if that isn't always how I think, what's that mean? I'm a shit person. And that's... When that comes from the person I love, it's horrible. It really, 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 really is horrible. You said you couldn't do it, but you just did it. 